Hi, I'm Jamo from Xcase in the UK at www.xcase.co.uk. Today I'm going to look at a 4U chassis with an unbelievable 24 hot swap bays at an unbelievable £349. Now, anybody who knows anything about rack mount chassis, as soon as you start going up into the 16s, 20s, 24s on the hot swap caddies, you get in into the 600s, 7s, 8s, even £1,000 plus. So, 349 plus the VAT is a fantastic price. So, how do we get 24 hot swap caddies in a 4U? Admittedly, we have a bit of a struggle. There's absolutely no room for CD-ROMs of any type, um, USBs or audios on the front panel. It's just solely made up of hot swap caddies like this one. Each little caddy comes with its own activity pair of lights, a blue and a green, uh, one for power and one for activity. So you'll see lots of blue lights flickering away as it's working. Caddies themselves are a third generation on this particular case, they're much stronger now, much nicer to work with. Come in and out and click very nicely indeed. Okay, so no CD-ROM, how are you going to load an OS? Presumably a lot of you from USB nowadays. So we saw that as a bit of a problem. So we have managed on the rack mount ears to add a single USB with a power and activity light. Behind the front caddies, you'll see here, are your 24 ports for your back planes. Now these actually are provided by six back planes, controlling four drives on a single mini SAS connection. So anybody who knows anything about uh, modern technology, RAID cards, etc., etc. will know that things like LSI, Freeware come with the same connection um, and one uh, cable from the RAID card will control the four drives on this back plane. The back plane is powered by a Molex. Now it does have two Molexes by, per, um, per back plane. One does actually power it up fine, and so the other one's almost like a, a redundant one. But it's not a problem to uh, uh, attach either one or two. Now, one thing about back planes, unfortunately, is they do fail from time to time. And in the past, it's been a complete pain to unscrew and reinsert a new back plane. These are an absolute piece of cake. Simply you've got thumb screws. I've taken two out already, but there's four thumb screws. They just unscrew and the back plane literally just slips out. So if you do get a problem, we're going to keep lots of spares. We can just swap the back plane over. Fan wise, it's much the same as the 20 bay version, we've got four fans, uh, 80 mil fans, they are now got a little hot swap mechanism to them, so you can just slip them in and out like that.
Again, it's got, like the previous uh, 20 bay version, which we will still be doing, plenty of room for extended ATX motherboards, standard ATX motherboards, and even micro ATX motherboards. Comes with a standard PSU bracket. However, however included, we also do a bracket for a mini redundant and a 3U redundant, uh, something like a Zippy 6650P triple redundant. 4 height expansion slots times 7. And of course it needs a pair of rack mount um, rails which are included within the price of 349 Two rear fans are included, 80mm ones. It's very strong, very well, well built. I'm not going to say it's as good as a Shembro, but a 24 bay Shembro, for instance, is just over a thousand pounds. I think realistically that's probably about it. If you've got any questions, just uh, email me, sales at xcase.co.uk. But those who have already been buying the RM420, the 20 bay version, or indeed the 2U8 bay version, are going to like this chassis a lot. And it's definitely going to get the Xcase thumbs up. Thanks for listening.